everyone today i want to cover the technology package that's available on all new shelby gt350s and gt500s for 2020 so let's start off with the official order guide information from ford the technology package code 67t again it's available as an option on all new shelby's uh, it includes an upgraded b and o sound system that has 12 speakers and an in trunk subwoofer also has a blind spot monitor system with cross traffic alert uh, the mirrors depending on which trim you get will also feature uh, memory and heat and they all have will have an uh, integrated turn signal with the puddle lamps they all also have the voice activated touchscreen navigation system with pinch to zoom capabilities sirius xm traffic and travel link and depending on which model you get if you get a base level 350 or 500 with the leather trimmed sports seats uh, it will also feature uh, three memory positions as well as the seats are power adjustable however any car regardless of which submodel it is if you get the recaro seats the recaro seats are 100 percent manual adjustment with no memory to them so it doesn't matter if you get it as part of a standalone option or a different group the recaro seats are all manually adjusted now this package differs in price on the 350s irregardless if it's a regular or an r model it's a two thousand dollar option and on the 500s again regardless if it's the base or the carbon fiber track package it's a three thousand dollar option and it is the exact same features so take that as you will they're just upcharging on the 500 for an extra thousand dollars even though it's the exact same thing now my opinion on this package if you're going to street drive the car i think it's definitely well worth it you're getting a nicer stereo system and the added safety aspects of both the blind spot monitors and the cross traffic alert personally i think well worth it if it prevents you from having an accident those systems just paid for themselves and i definitely think it's good to have for a street driven car if you're buying a car for dedicated race use then i think you're better off not getting this so let's just go over it show what these aspects are and how to identify them if you're looking at a car and you're not 100 percent sure if they have the aspects or not uh, as far as on the mirrors this is a technology package car so it has the led turn signals here and on the mirror face, it has the symbol for the blind spot monitoring system. If you do not have the technology package, this symbol will not be here and you'll have a very small convex mirror there uh, to basically just kind of help show a little bit further out from the car. Uh, and then before we step inside the car, let's take a look at that in trunk subwoofer. So it's gonna be on the right side of the car, right there in the corner. You're gonna have that subwoofer. That's the only, the, uh, aspect of the sound system that's actually in the trunk and we'll step inside all right so on the inside of the car easiest ways to identify inside the car is you're going to have this symbol here that's the bno sound system symbol if you do not have a tech package uh, that will not be there and you also have here if you see the small light this right here is the entrance for the uh the cd for the cd player so a single cd player and uh, you obviously see that little light that just went out that was right there before. So that's where we, that's the easiest way to identify if it does or does not have it. If again, if you're looking at a car, not 100% sure if it has it or doesn't have it, that's the, uh, the easiest way to say it. Again, the symbol up top and then the CD player entrance there. And then finally, I'll turn the lights out in here. You'll be able to see what the Cobra puddle light is. Now my floor is a little bit textured, so it's not gonna look as smooth and crisp as it normally is. When you open and shut the door, that's the symbol you get on the ground. And obviously, this is integrated into the, um, the rear view mirror, so once you open the door, it will move with the door. And then when you shut the door, it stays illuminated with all the other uh, courtesy lights around the car. So that's a pretty cool little feature. Nice little uh, subtle touch there to the car. But that is essentially the technology package. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.